All right, so Ari. So, okay, I'm Coach Nicholas Hall from Train Life Fit, and I'm here with Ari. And he's been one of my clients for a long, long time, mm -hmm. 2017, right? 2017. So I have a couple questions for you to kind of see what your experience has been like here and, you know, how you've been feeling and what you want to do going forward. Um, so first, so you, know, you started 2017. What were some of your fears starting? And then some, also some of your goals that you wanted to achieve when you started here. Yeah, well, I know it's different for everybody, right? Because like you also coached my sister, and mm -hmm. she had different sort of fears. I think my personal biggest one was self consciousness. You know, the sort of honestly the effort of sort of getting over that hump of being insecure about yourself. You know, I hadn't been in the gym in a long time, a long, long time. You know, I was in law school. I hadn't really been in the gym in college at all, in high school a little bit. So it was really like early high school, late high school, I kind of stopped going to the gym. So it was a long time that I hadn't been in the gym and mm. just kind of facing that sort of feeling of, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing and I'm a little self-conscious and nervous and what do I do? And, you know, ha that was just having you really help me overcome that because it was a matter of like, no, there's nothing to be ashamed about here. There's nothing to be worried about. Like, come on in. No, that's awesome. Dude, you're, in, you know, you're great. No, we've got so much to do and I can teach you a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And it was just exciting. It was very welcoming and made me feel very comfortable and really excited. And so moving on to my goals, my goals were first, I don't really know what my goals were. I just wanted to move again a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, deep down I was, I guess, I was, you know, I wanted to feel and look a little bit better. You know, I felt like I was kind of just lethargic and living this lifestyle where I was doing nothing but sitting all day. And I still do that a lot, you know, as you know, <laughs> uh, but I feel a lot better. And then as it's developed, you know, it's been more specific goals of, oh, you know, let me pick up this hobby. Like I'm into squash, you know, Nick and I are going to go play some squash soon. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, like, let me improve that. Or, oh, I want to do a little bit better on the ski slopes or, hey, you know, I want to lift a little bit more. I really like the strength chaining or I want to, you know, improve my flexibility and my mobility. So it's become very multifaceted, uh, my goals here. And there, and that's really fun because you're always a great partner for that. And you all, you know, I come and say, hey man, I'm feeling this or I want this. And you're like, oh yeah, cool. Okay. Let's check it out. Like I got an idea for this. So it's been great. That's awesome. So what have you tried in the past? And as far as, you know, working out or training or to, to meet these goals, right? Because yeah. you, you mentioned a lot of things and I know a lot of people have the similar things like feeling like I don't really know what to do in the gym. You know, I want to yeah. kind of get back into it. I feel subconscious, but I kind of want to do these things. It sounds cool, um, but just don't know what to do. So what have you tried in the past to try to help you meet those goals and how was this experience different? Yeah. So I think in the past I thought, well, I can just do this on my own and I, you know, I can just go to the gym and figure it out on my own if I just start going to the gym. And so some things worked and some things didn't. Like for example, you know, you've, you've been a great partner for me with talking about my diet and how I want to change my nutrition and now I have a pretty sort of keto lifestyle and paleo lifestyle and that's something that I probably I did some amount on my own and I think you could do on your own somewhat successfully um, and not actually probably pretty successfully there's a lot of good, there are a lot of good resources out there but in terms of the mobility and the strength conditioning to go along with that to sort of have a holistic package of making me feel really better not just what I'm eating but also what I'm doing with my body that was something that I struggled with I tried to do sort of online videos and online uh, sort of research but me personally, it was having a partner and a coach, somebody I could come in, you know, one on one with FaceTime, talk about what's been working with me, what hasn't been working with me. And honestly, sometimes just watching a video uh, is really helpful, and you make those custom videos. But it's hard to find that stuff on my own online. I struggled kind of finding how to go through the movements and what those movements are, and whether I'm in person or whether you send me a video. You know, it's like you doing like, this is what you need to do. Put your leg in this position and then put your arm over here. You know what I mean? You helped me get into that. Um, so I think that was a, a lot of, also the accountability differences as well. I, I noticed that one of my sort of shortcomings and failures when I was trying this earlier on my own and first experimenting with it. And I, you know, I mean, failure is part of learning, right? But mm -hmm. one of it was consistency and showing up and you've always been such a huge supporter and sort of friend about you know these things so you'll text me like hey man how you feeling you know um and that sort of routine and that ha having somebody to help you and sort of get into that has helped me bring me in and kept me coming in 
Um, and also just, dude, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting because you know sort of musculature and like physiology, and I don't know the terms because I'm, you know, a lawyer, I'm not, I don't, I don't know, the, I don't know biology, but you know exactly like, oh yeah, this is, this is holding you back, this is why you can't squat, or this is why you can't uh, deadlift, or this is why you can't do a front squat because you've got some restriction at this right here, and I, I think it's like, you know, here or something like that, and you're like, oh no, 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 it's in your back over here, and I'm like, what? And then you like get in there and we do some mobility opening training, and it's like, holy crap, yeah, now I can lift this thing that I couldn't do earlier. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the know-how to, it was harder for me to kind of come by online. And I feel like, especially because it had been a long time since I've really worked out and I didn't really know very much what I was doing, having somebody who had a really deep sort of knowledge well of informa information and know-how and skills really was what helped propel me forward versus in the past, you know, the dieting was easier to do on my own, but you know, having somebody to talk to and having somebody who had a lot of knowledge about fitness was really what helped me bring it to the next level and kind of start making these strides that I've been making. Mm, that's awesome. So just like finding a way to incorporate the nutrition things you were doing and how that applies to fitness, that's a big one. Because yeah. you can do something without doing an active exercise and that can work for a while, but then when you incorporate exercise, you have to do some adjustments, right? Yeah. To what you're eating and Yeah, and ultimately, you know, just dieting wasn't all that I wanted because it's not, you know, I was overweight and I wanted to lose weight, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't just losing weight. I also wanted to, you know, be fit too at the same time. You know, I wanted to be able to do things like run. For example, you know, I went snowboarding, right? And mm -hmm. I remember this time where, you know, I went sort of past the point that I was supposed to go. I was supposed to take a turn and I went a little too far. And like I stopped, I was like, oh crap, I, I need to turn around. And it's uphill, so you can't snowboard uphill, so you have to take your board off and kind of walk. And I remember being so out of breath, you know? So it wasn't just about like being able to fit into like a different t-shirt, you know what I mean? It was also about like, yeah, like I want to be able to like charge up this mountain really easily. I want to be able to go hiking more easily. And mm. so I want to really enjoy those things that I knew I really enjoyed, but I was in a little bit out of shape. So it isn't just about the diet, it really is also about the fitness. Too. The fitness about it. Yeah. That's that's awesome, man. So, while training here, what were some of the big milestones for you while training at Train Like Fit? Oh man, when we set that uh, that bench press record, that was really fun because I didn't even know it was happening. Yeah. And you had built up, so, so long story short, I, uh, I set a, a personal sort of record for bench pressing here in Train Life Fit sort of keeps like a like a goal chart and to see, you know, like, oh, who's done these cool things. And I wasn't even thinking about trying to get on that board, um, but I did and I wasn't even realizing that it happened. And, I, and we were, you and I were bench pressing mm -hmm. and I remember, you know, just feeling really good and you putting on more weight and we're like, yeah, dude, that was the, that was the record right there. <laughs> and I was like, wait, <laughs> what? Uh, that was really fun. And I think it was great confirmation because it never feels like you're pushing me too far. Like I've never, woken up the next day and been like, oh, I'm so sore, I cannot move, and I do not want to go work out again. That has never once happened to me before. And actually, tying back to what we had talked about a question ago, that is another sort of shortcoming that I had, is that sometimes I'd overexert myself because I'd want to be like, oh, I haven't been working out, I'm gonna crush it in the gym, and I'd work out so hard that I just wouldn't want to work out for the next week. Um, and that's a big setback too, because you need to be able to come in consistently. Um, but yeah, that was such a great feeling, and it's, it's sort of the testament to um, I think how great of a trainer you are because it's really it's really special. I'm I'm about to move and live in LA part time. And I'm like, oh man, I'm not gonna have a trainer there. I'm gonna go do it with Nick. Part of the reason why is because you really have a sense of how much my body can handle and you know how to make me feel good and how to make me sort of you know push me just so far that I'm making progress almost without even realizing it. Um, but feeling how, like I have enough energy left over afterwards to be like, oh yeah, what day is it today? You know, like Monday. Like, oh okay, cool, man. I'll see you Tuesday. Let's do something else. You know. Um, so yeah, that was a great milestone for me, but there have been a lot, and um, you know, that's just one. That was awesome. That was a good day. That was a great day, yeah. Because you not only, it wasn't just the bench press, you also made a PR on the back squat. Yeah, dude, that's right. And, and also deadlift. We did all of them and on I, the same dude, like, I, that, couple of days. Remember that? that? It, was like, it was the same week, and it was, cause it was this culmination of this, like we were doing this program where you were kind of having me like, 
up my conditioning for it and you're like, oh, dude, just, I'm telling you, when we get back to actually doing reps, it's going to be wild. You're going to see. And then it was that <laughs> week where it was like, oh yeah, two, three days in a row. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was so much fun. And you made it. Yeah. <laughs> So what would you say to people that are kind of on the fence about starting at Train Life Fit mm -hmm. and maybe have some of the same viewpoints that you had and started in a similar place that you, you started? Yeah, I guess I would say um, it's okay to, and you know, this is me projecting on you, so you might feel a little differently, but for me, what it would have been helpful for me to say is like, it's okay to be insecure, to feel a little unsure, and that this is a place that will really welcome you in and make you feel great. And honestly, if you just dip a toe in the water and show up, that's a huge amount of, you know, that's, that's getting over a huge hurdle in and of itself. Mm -hmm. And just signing up for a package, I mean, committing to it, making a part of your lifestyle, I think, you know, it's a journey. It's not something that you just do once and it's done, um, but it's a really exciting journey. And I think this is a great place to come and do that. Uh, and I think that, you know, you will always tweak it as you go. And that's what I'm doing right now, even still. You know, I say keto, paleo, but those things keep changing, right? And like the workouts that we do keep changing because Nick, you keep coming up with cool stuff for me to do. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say, come in, show up, and just go for it. It's it's it is it'll make you feel better. This is a place that you can trust. You can feel comfortable. You can feel safe. You're never going to be pushed. It's not like some scary place to come to. It's really exciting to come to, and. Um, you know, if you come here and you talk to Nick and you sort of communicate what your goals are and what you want to do, he's always going to listen and help you get there. And there's no judgment, there's no pressure. And, you know, what works for one person might not work for another, you know, I mean, uh, maybe my diet works for me and it doesn't work for somebody else, but Nick is the sort of person where you can talk to him about that and say, hey, this is what I'm trying. And he'll say, all right, well, let's, you know, how about, are you comfortable if we like measure you and like, you know, you know, check your weight and sort of see, you know, how does this, this diet and this workout plan work for you over the course of a few weeks? And let's compare it to this other diet and workout plan over the next few weeks. And so you're constantly experimenting and it's really fun. And I'm really glad that I made this part of my lifestyle and... I'll also add that one of the things that I did is I sort of fell off the wagon at one point. Um, and it was specifically after I graduated law school and I'd made all this progress with you. Um, I started studying for the bar exam and I was like, oh, well, pff, fitness, eating well, out the window. I'll think about that when I'm done. And I sort of gained a fair bit of weight back and I stopped working out and I started feeling a little more creaky and a little bit more hunched over. And, um, you know, that's okay and that's part of it. And so, Nick never had any judgment against that. He was like, yeah, man, I'm so glad you're back in. Let's do this. I'm excited, you know, let's try this, let's try that. This worked for you well last time. So it really is a journey and just, you know, come in with an open mind, just, you know, make it a part of your plan. It is, it is hard to change anything in your life, you know, if you're trying to adjust to something new. It's a big change, it takes a lot of effort and you're gonna stumble a couple times, but this is a great place that's gonna help you get back up and it's gonna be there right by your side. Awesome. Dude, you're, you're like one of the best clients I could ever have. And I'm Dude. so, I'm so glad that I got a chance to work with you. Thank you so much for being awesome. Work.